At the School of Finance and Management in Frankfurt, tomorrow's bankers get the skills and contacts they'll need in the financial sector. Students often used to get an easy start in the real world. But in the wake of the financial crisis, banks are making new demands. There is a strong call from the large German banks and from all sides for a new degree in risk management. Additionally, we've seen an increase in students attending the risk management classes we offer because the skills are in demand. Students looking for employment after school would do well to look into risk management. The students in this class already work in the financial world, and an understanding of probability is crucial for them to be able to assess risk properly. The math is tough, and it isn't just the professors who set high standards. Bank customers also want a better overview of how their money is being handled. Small investors have become much more cautious. They pay attention to what financial products their institutions are buying. But privately, we can still take risks in how we invest our own money. Many say they still do some high-risk investing on their own behalf, for example. But are the banks really taking lower risks? Critics say that large financial institutions have no interest in limiting risk because they can always count on a bailout if business turns sour. So are large banks really a threat to financial security? At the university, professor of finance Reinhard Schmidt keeps an eye on German banks. The Türme werden immer höher. Sind sie der da? The buildings are getting taller and taller. Behind that tree is one, built by a bank that's really gone down the tubes recently, UBS. But they started construction when things were still looking up. For them, the financial crisis is over, and some banks have emerged from it larger than ever before. Big banks are a problem because they and others think that they can't fail. When things are in doubt, they always expect either the state or the central bank to step in and save them. Is that why they take more risks? That's the impetus for them to make risky investments. They take large risks for profit, and if the business goes bust, then someone else will have to foot the bill. In fact, the high level of risk has led to calls to break up some banks. But that's hardly an option for the next German government. Nevertheless, the need for new regulation is clear. The head of the German central bank thinks banks should put more capital aside when business is booming and, if necessary, even be allowed to go bankrupt. As with all economic breakdowns, we need to be able to remove banks in a slow, orderly fashion. We need a resolution regime, as the English call it, which would allow a bank to become insolvent. The German economics and justice ministries are currently working on something along those lines. But no one here wants to think about letting banks go broke. At the weekly wine festival in the shadow of the Dax in Frankfurt, the mood rises with the market. Some feel they've already weathered the storm. It's over. I wouldn't say the crisis is over, but if we keep moving forward optimistically, then I'm sure we can get the best of it. But isn't that too optimistic? I understand the euphoria some investors feel. We're happy the situation has stabilized, but we need to take steps to regulate the market better. If we don't, the next crisis will be right around the corner. <laughs>